Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Pierre of Pierre Film and Photography, bringing you tutorials for photography and videography. I also do short films, documentaries, uh, event coverage, things like that. Today uh, will be a pretty short video. I just want you guys to be able to hear uh, this new microphone that I bought, which I planned on getting it uh, because I'm going to be doing a small event in the near future and I didn't want to be lugging around my large studio. I've got it out of picture here, out of frame. It's this large, larger studio mic that I usually use for my videos that you guys have probably seen. And of course with that you've got XLR cables which are uh, you know, just something else that you would have to pack if you were going to be traveling for this. You have an audio interface off to the side over here and all the cables and power adapters that come with that. It's just, it's a bulky setup, which is great for studio. Uh, but if you wanted to use something smaller, more convenient, something that's wireless for your camera or your phone, if you happen to be shooting with your phone, this will work for that as well. Um, easy to travel with and the most important thing is you won't be sacrificing audio quality. Um, so you are actually listening to this microphone right now. If you've seen the thumbnail, you will know that it is this Momen C2 lavalier wireless microphone. Um, and I will, I will zoom up on this and I'll show you sort of how to set it up. Uh, but the main thing was for you to be able to hear it. Uh, so I have it right here. So it's very discreet if you want to tuck it away, um, use it for interviews, things like that. It's, it's not as obtrusive as having a larger microphone like you would in a studio. Um, it's really easy to perform interviews. Or another thing that's sort of an underrated thing is if you have a longer uh, focal length that you want to be using, maybe for like a short film or something, you can use the wireless microphone and be able to get longer shots, longer focal length shots. Uh, I know I have that problem. I have an 85 millimeter lens um, that I don't really use too much in the studio and it's because uh, I would have to basically travel a cable all the way over to my camera uh, because it's not wireless to be able to do that. And there's also some audio quality loss uh, with longer cables. Um, uh, but this will help all that. Uh, so. This specific microphone, according to the box here, has 150 meters, which is 492 feet of transmission. So you can get pretty far away uh, if you're wanting to record that way. Uh, it's got USB-C charging, and all of this comes in the kit, by the way, which I will, again, I will show you here in a minute. Um, and it will work. It's got cables so that you can use it with your mirrorless or DSLR cameras. Uh, but it also has one that you can use with your phone if you're just filming with your phone. So let me go ahead and um, switch this around and I'll get you a top view so I can show you all the details of this microphone. Okay, so I've switched out microphones uh, just so I can show you guys how to set this up in case you had any questions about that for your phone or your camera. Uh, this is by no means an unboxing. It's uh, Obviously, I've already been using it, as I showed you previously in the video. So everything's already out of the package. I just wanted to show you the box that this comes in, and there's some information. Some of this I said earlier um, in the video. So that's just the box. Inside the box comes in this little, it's actually quite nice. It's a hard shell case, uh, and it's pretty small. Really nice, convenient, got a zipper. So let's open this up. And what you have here is a receiver on the left and a transmitter on the right. And then you have all these cables that I'm gonna show you. So this is the lavalier mic itself. Sorry, there it is. And you can take off the windscreen or use it. You definitely wanna use this if you're outside. Uh, so you don't have all that wind noise. Um, this is another uh, dead cat windscreen. Uh, you can actually put this directly onto uh, the microphones. So you can use you can use this microphone, or you might even be able to plug in a different shotgun mic if you have the same type of uh, TRS um, input. This 
the two uh, the two rings. Um, so you would actually, if you wanted to do this without the extra lavalier, this actually goes on right there, and you could use it that way, and you could just use this as your microphone. Put that off to the side. This uh, plugs into your camera, so it actually shows you on here. I don't know if you can see, but that's the camera. You plug that into the camera end, and then that end goes into your receiver. So you plug that in there. This is the out. And you can actually put this onto the hot shoe directly on your camera. So that would plug into the camera. Let's put that off to the side. It's a little easier this way. This is just a charging cable and this is USB-C. So you can actually charge both of these at the same time plugged in. Set that off to the side. This is just a clip that you would uh, use onto the lavalier mic itself. So you could clip this on and then you can put this, you know, on your shirt or wherever your lapel. So these, what you do with these is this mute button is actually also the power button. So if you hold on both the receiver and the transmitter, if you hold these two, it will turn them both on. And in doing so, it also syncs these two. So you, you can actually hear, well, you can't hear, these aren't plugged in, sorry. I mean, you can see, and it actually shows you the levels. Let's take this out of frame just for now. So that would be plugged in and then you can use that one directly or again plugged in with the microphone um, so it has options you can actually mute it from either end so if this one's on your camera the receiver you can mute it from your camera or whoever's you know speaking the dialogue you can mute it from there as well it also has gain settings so you can actually set your volumes uh, your gains on either one of these and it does it in in plus three increments i believe so if you press that yes it goes up plus three i don't know if you can see that plus six plus nine plus twelve plus fifteen i actually kept it on zero and i adjusted in my camera in the earlier shots that you saw kept it at zero and it, we'll see uh how that sounds i haven't edited this video yet so you will likely know before i do uh, but that is really it. Oh, I did forget to say, so it, this is just, it's the same type of cable, uh, but this one is TRRS for a phone. So it's, it's the same as this one. So this one will go to your DSLR, your mirrorless camera, and this can be used with your phone. So here soon, I will be doing a video comparing this wireless microphone to some of the other microphones that I usually use here in the studio or ones that I use, uh, like a little shotgun mic that I've used in the past, uh, just so you can hear the differences between the qualities. Maybe um, you might be using several different mics for some videos that you're making and you want them all to sound similar. Um, for this video, I didn't do any processing, so you're hearing this wireless mic just directly as it is plugged into my camera. That about wraps it up for this video. If you could do me a favor, hit that like button. It will help me out with YouTube's algorithm and push out the video to other people who would find this useful. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.